What's good, y'all? I've been going for a minute, man. Your boy had finals and all that good stuff, man. So all that's over and done with. So we're going to get right back into it with these videos, man. I got a real good one for y'all, man. We're just going to get straight into it, man. The video only about two minutes long. So we're just going to play the whole thing and then we're going to come back. We're manifesting love. But here's the little challenge. We got all these things we want in a man. A list of things. He got to be tall. He got to be dark. He got to be handsome. He got to have pretty teeth. He got to be a family man. He got to be financially stable. He got to be rich. He got to be successful. He got to be all these things. And we ain't even have the things on that list. He got to be a family man. Bitch, you ain't talked to your mama in six months, but you want him to be a family man. He got to be financially stable. Your account is in the negative, ma'am. Overdraft fees. He got to have a job. You need to go fill out some applications because you're still unemployed. He got to have pretty teeth. You ain't seen a dentist in six years. He got to have a six pack and be in shape. You can't even walk up a flight of stairs without huffing and puffing. Get your life together. This whole list that he got to be. You ain't even have the things on that list. So this is what I challenge you to do. So we can manifest love all 2021. Make that list of that perfect dream man that you got in your mind. Then, huh, what I did... Make a list of the type of woman he would need right by his side. You want him to be in shape? You need to get to the gym. Equally yoked, bitch. You want him to be financially stable? Well, you need to start saving. Because you can't keep a dime to your name. Huh? You want him to be a family man? Call your mama. You become a family woman. Heal your traumas before you put all this shit on him. You want him to be patient. Bitch, your patience is thin. You want him to be understanding. You're the least understanding person in your circle of friends, but he gotta be understanding. Fix you. Fix you. Whatever you want, become that. Ugh. Fuck. He gotta be in shape. Bitch. You eat chips every day. You heal. Let's become the person we want to attract. How about that? You heal. <laughs> first of all shout out to be simone man she she went off man she been saying what we've been saying for i don't know how long man like i don't understand why so many uh and, and it's a lot of women that's that that was really upset with what she said but i have no idea why i, I don't know why they so mad man again man like we've been saying stuff like this for i don't know how long bro like, I, like she she's talking about equally yoked I just feel like whatever you, I said this before in one of my videos, I can't remember which one. I feel like whatever you want in the ladies, whatever you want in a man, you should be able to present half. I've, I said that. At least present half. She said equally, yo, she's trying to make it seem like you should be on the same level as him. So if he making six figures, then you should be making six figures. Like, no, nah, I, I don't, again, because men, we don't care about stuff like that. At least bring half. At least bring half like she went off <laughs> she went off that girl said you want a man with a six pack but you can't even walk up a flight of stairs on a huffing and puffing <laughs> hey be simone the truth man be simone the truth I, I i shout out to her for this one man that's crazy that's crazy want a man that got money but your account in the negatives crazy <laughs> I've, I've said this before, man, like a, a lot of women have these crazy, unrealistic dating standards, man. Crazy, crazy, unrealistic dating standards. Y'all be wanting these men to be damn near Superman and y'all not even damn Lois Lane. Y'all can't even like, come on, man. Like it, it, it doesn't, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. But again, when men say stuff like that, we get, we get shunned on. We get like talked down. Oh, you're weak. Oh, you're this. Or you're broken. You're blah, 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 blah. Bro, we're not none of these things. We're just asking for you to at least try and meet us at our minimum requirements it's same thing when you applying for a job same thing they have a minimum requirement they'll say bachelor's required master's preferred the bachelor's is a minimum bachelor's is a minimum a lot of you a lot of y'all don't even have the bachelor's but you're trying to apply for these damn positions when the minimum is a bachelor's requirement it's the same thing with a lot of men a lot of men have a minimum requirement what what my what my question is um you know and i, I would love for the women to comment but my question, my, my question is, why are so many women so upset about stuff like this, man? Like, why why do y'all get so mad? Like, I think in my opinion, a lot of y'all 
just feel like, oh, okay, well, you're going to take me as I am and then that's it. I don't have to build myself. I don't have to do this. I don't have to do that. I should just be able to bring some ass and titty to the table and my three kids and you should just be happy. That's how a lot of them feel, bro. And a lot of guys is finally, finally, finally starting to wake up because we've been having this conversation for far too long. So a lot of guys is finally starting to get to where they want to go, which is why I made the, all these videos talking, telling these boys, man, listen, y'all boys need to get on y'all job, do this. If y'all trying to start your business, if y'all want to go back to school, if y'all, whatever it is, I don't care, whatever it is, just do something. Stop being stagnant. Ladies too, but you know, ma mainly men, because I have like 80, 80, 90% of my viewers are men. So I, I have to make videos geared towards that. But I tell y'all boys all the time, man, put yourself first, get on your job, go to school, do whatever it is that you want to do. I don't care. As long as you're not being stagnant in life, I've said this before. This time last year, I was making X amount of money. Now I'm making more than that. This time last year, I I, I didn't even have a damn uh, a master's degree. Now I'm damn finally about to finish my damn master's. And for next year, it's going to be the same thing. Next year, I need to be making X amount um, X amount more than what I was making this year. And that's how I move in life, bro. And if I can't get it with, with my job or with whatever, then I have to go elsewhere. And that's just how it is. That's just how it is. With that being said, Rome was not built in the day, y'all. Stuff like this is going to take time. I understand that. But it's just the fact that you're trying to build yourself up to become the best version of you and not just being stagnant, working at some dead end damn job, working at some dead end job. I'm telling you all right now, I have so many friends that I graduated uh, high school with. I mean, even in college, um, a lot of them graduated that I graduated high school with. And they're still stuck at dead end jobs, and I begged them, pleaded with them to come to damn college with me. No, nah, college is gonna take too long, and this, that, and the third, blah, 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 blah. Here it is, what six, seven, eight years later, they still working at damn Family Dollar. I'm, and I'm not talking down on anybody that works at Family Dollar and McDonald's. I'm not talking down on y'all, but what I'm saying is they become so stagnant and comfortable in life that they don't even see like. Like, like how stuck they really are. And so when people like me come in their life and they try to talk to them and try to better themselves, they don't understand it. They don't know how to take it. A lot of them get mad. <laughs> but it is what it is, man. But I, I love I love what B. Simone, going back to going, I know I got a little off topic, but going back to what B. Simone said, shout out to, again, shout out to B. Simone, man. She went off. She went off. I want to know why are so many women upset about what she said? Why are y'all so upset about what she said? She said, equally yoked. You want a man that's in shape? Get your ass in the gym. Y'all be damn, some of y'all stomachs be bigger than, you know, I'm not even going to go there. If you want that, a man with a nice damn body, get in the gym. Meet him halfway. She said, equally yoked. I just want to be met halfway. <laughs> I'm not even talking about no damn equally yoked none. I'm, I'm not talking about none of that. I'm not talking about none of that, man. The problem that I see here is, again, like I said earlier in this video, the problem that I see here is that a lot of women feel like whatever they, they have and whatever they bring to the table, that's it. That's good enough. But then they feel like they should uh, be able to qualify to or, or even be able to get the top 15, 20 percent of earners in America. I said this in multiple damn videos, man. Like y'all be wanting men that can make six figures. How many men in the how many black men? Let me just say that. How many black men in America make that? So why do you think, as whoever you are, black, white, Hispanic, I don't care, why do you think as a woman, you feel like you qualify to be with a man with that makes that amount of money when he knows for a fact he has options? He knows for a fact that he can damn get the, the, the top 10, 20, 30, 50 percent of damn women in America because every woman damn near want the same thing when it comes to when it comes to a man that, that's making that type of money, a man that's damn resourceful and stuff like that. It's always the same thing with every damn female. Every time I ask a woman these questions, because especially in my classes, in my groups, I always I always tell them lately, you know, I do, you know, I do YouTube and I do this, that, and the third. And I always ask them the same question. What does a man have to do to be able to get you? And they always say, oh, he has to have money. That's the first thing they always say. It's always that money. Houses, property, business, whatever, and then it goes to like his body, his physique, and stuff like that, and then it, you know it's it's just a right from there. It's on your list. He gotta be a family man, bitch. You ain't talked to your mama in six months, but you want him to be a family man. He gotta be financially stable. You're a Thomas in the negative, man. Overdraft fees. Crazy. He gotta have a job. You need to go fill out some applications because you're still unemployed. Just, just just to piggyback off that, man. There was this one girl that that was saying that she wants a traditional man. Right. And she has she has multiple kids. She has multiple kids from multiple guys. I, I, I really it's really confusing when 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 women say stuff like that, when they have multiple kids, multiple baby daddies, because 
even if you were to find a traditional man that wants you for you and, and actually wants to damn cuff you and be in a serious relationship, because I feel like a lot of y'all mix that up. A lot of y'all mix that up. I know a lot of y'all mix that up. Oh, I'm dating this guy that's that, that's, that's making six figures. Da, da, da. I told y'all about my homegirl. Oh, he's doing this and he's buying me this. He's buying me that. We've been dating for a year now. Oh, y'all are y'all officially together? Oh, no, but we've just been dating. You basically his bedwetter. You basically the girl that he calls when he, when he, when he gets damn hard at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. Sweetie, that's not dating. Y'all don't understand the difference between an actual dating person, actual boyfriend, and y'all damn think that's the same as 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 dating as when it's in reality, it's just you just getting your back bent over every, every damn night. And he throwing you some money, he throwing you some gifts and stuff like that. It's crazy, man. But anyway, like I said, do you really think an actual traditional man that you say you want actually wants to be with someone like that. A lot of traditional men will want a traditional woman that doesn't have kids, that doesn't have this, that, and a third. And these are just the facts of life. These videos and people like her and people like, and, and other, not just her, but you know, everyone that, that, do, that does these type of topics, people like me, we get so much flack and so much damn negativity from people because they feel some type of way about this. And this is just the facts of life. Men like me is not going to take women serious. We gonna sleep. They, they'll we, like men like me. We'll sleep with you all day. That's fine. We don't care about stuff like that. But what I'm talking about is actual dating, taking serious, cuffing, being in an actual relationship. A man damn taking one knee and proposing to you. That's what I'm talking about. So again, men will sleep with you all day. When it comes to sleeping with the females, a lot of men don't even have damn standards. When it comes to just some girl that he's trying to hook up with sexually, a lot of men don't have standards. They don't. But when it comes to being in the actual relationship, that's that, that's that's when we get strict. No, I want this, I want that, I want that, I want that, da, 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 da. But as soon as a man say all these things, again, like I said, a lot of women will look down on these men like, oh man, oh you did, oh you weak, oh you this, you that. We not know, man. We not weak, we not broke, we not none of these things. We just know our damn value and we know what we damn present to the table. And we know that we have a bare minimum. If you can't reach that, we're not gonna take you serious. Again, we'll sleep with you, but we're not gonna take you serious. You're not coming home to meet the moms. You're not going to meet, you know, grandma and all the other stuff coming to the family reunion. No, ma'am. I'm hitting you up 8, 9, 10 p.m. at night. And I got a bottle. I got some weed. What's up? Where you at? That's it. And, it, and, and that's how a lot of guys think. That's how a lot of guys move. I'm not saying all guys. That's how a lot of guys move and how they think. With that being said, ladies, I'm not saying that y'all should be desperate and just sleep with any and mess with any damn guy. That's not what I'm saying. You could still have standards, but a lot of y'all dating standards is completely unrealistic, man. Kevin Samuel said it the best. This man asked the girl, he was, he was like, yo, well, would you settle down for for an, for an electrician making $50,000, $60,000? And she's like, oh, no, that's too little. That's too little. $60,000 is pretty damn good. That's $20,000 more, twenty damn near $25,000 more than what the average person makes in America. But again, because they have these crazy ass pre-programmed, you know, uh, ideology of what a, a a man should make, they feel like, oh, I can do better. I can do better. Fifty, sixty thousand dollars is some pretty damn decent ass money. A lot of y'all people that's watching me don't even make that money. And that's just the truth. That's not me talking down. That's just me being spitting facts. That's just me being real. But this is how far we've came. As far as like the dating world, this is how far like 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 the goalposts moved. This is how far we came, y'all. And it's sad. We need to. I don't know if we can. I don't even know if we can get back to it. I don't know, but we need to get back to it <laughs> because what's going to end up happening is it's going to be these crazy ass gender wars between men and women, all that other stuff. I don't have time for stuff like that. Whatever a woman wants, ladies. Whatever you want, that's your business. I can care less. I don't care what, what, what you want, who you want it from. That's you. I'm saying keep in mind, you need to be realistic about that. There is no way in hell a man like me could approach a, 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 a Rihanna. I think Rihanna is like worth eight, nine hundred billion dollars, uh, nine hundred uh, million dollars. Her or Kylie Jenner or any of those damn girls. Me looking like this, pulling up to them on some. Oh, yeah, you know, we'll take you on a date. Da, da, da. Them girls look at me like like I did. Like, they won't even look at me. They'll just keep walking. <laughs> and that's facts. And that's facts. I have a realistic expectation when it comes to damn dating. Not no unrealistic expectation. I'm not going to sit here and shoot my shot at damn Rihanna, at damn these crazy, these women that's making hundreds of millions of dollars because men like me, we don't have a chance. I'm not saying it's impossible, but the chances is highly unlikely. 
And men like me, we've learned to accept that. We've learned to stay in our lane. We've learned to stay in our financial means. And that's just the reality of life. A lot of y'all have to do the same damn, learn how to do the same damn thing. Y'all have to do the same thing. I made a video a while back uh, about about uh, one of my coworkers who was dating this who who was dating this girl that had kids, and he found out he had that she had kids, and he cleared it. And they talked all down on this man, talking about oh, it takes a real man to do this. It takes a real man to raise somebody else's kids. It takes a real man. Get the hell out of here. It don't take a real man to take care of another damn man's expenses. Please stop with the damn nonsense. Because men like me could never come to a woman like Rihanna and tell her, oh, it takes a real woman to date a broke man. Hell no. Nah. We can't do that. So y'all can't do it either. That's one of y'all damn shaming tactics to try to get y'all to get what y'all want from a guy, whether from whatever guy that you're dating. And we don't have time for stuff like that. I put up with it. He's not the only, my coworker wasn't the only guy that experienced that. I've experienced that too. I told y'all about the, uh, the the girl a while back. Uh, this girl I dated that had two damn kids from two different guys. And then, you know, she invited me over. I told y'all the story, so whatever. Um, you know, invited me over, you know, try to sleep with her. She told me, oh, nah, nah, we, oh, we have to marry, be married first. I told her, okay, have a good night. And I cleared it. You are crazy. A lot of men, ladies, I'm, let, me, let me break it down, man. A lot of men will look at you and what you and who you messed with in the past, especially when you had a baby from a man. A lot of men will look at all those things and be like, hey, yo, listen, I'm not going to pay no more than what the previous guy paid for. So if he got to hit that ass for free, then I'm going to try to hit it for free or anything closest to free. And that's how a lot of guys move. That's how I looked at it. I looked at her that had two damn kids from two different guys on some Bro, you think I'm about to put a ring on you when your first two baby daddies who was broke and the other one who was a damn criminal who was always in and out of jail? You looking at me talking about I should put a ring on you? You are out of your mind. And that's how a lot of guys think when it comes to stuff like that. We, a lot of guys, is not going to pay more than what your previous baby daddy or previous ex paid for to hook up with you. And that's just the reality of life. I'm sorry. That's just reality of life. Now watch somebody jump in the comments. Oh, well, I know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody that did. <laughs> they love bringing up Sierra. Sierra, I've said this before. Sierra is an anomaly. A lot of y'all, I, I, I'm not even going to say none. I'm going to say 95% of y'all is not nowhere near Sierra's level. Financial, as far as physique, talents, following, 95, 97% of y'all is nowhere near damn Sierra's damn level, but y'all keep bringing up Sierra and damn Russell Wilson. I don't know why, man. But anyway, y'all, comment down below, man. Like, this, this this, this video was crazy. This video was crazy. Again, shout out to B. Simone for this one, man. She the truth, and I, 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 hope, I hope she, I doubt she's going to be watching this, but I, I hope she keep going. I hope she keeps spreading that, that realness, man. Uh, I've been watching B. Simone for a while, back when she was, back when she started off on the 85 South Show, screaming, where's my boyfriend? Who want to be my, you know what I'm saying? So I, I've been following her for a while. She's one of the people that I don't agree with 100%. Well, I don't, well, I mean, pretty much everyone I follow, I don't agree with 100%. But she's one of those people that I don't agree with 100%. She was one of those, the, um, I think a year or two years ago, she was saying that she would never date a man, she would never date a man with a nine to five. You know what I'm saying? And although I disagree with that, she's entitled to her own opinion. I don't agree with it. I don't think there's nothing wrong with dating a man with a nine. I, I'm, I'm, I work a nine, well, I don't work a nine to five, but I work a nine to five per se. <laughs> I have a full time, I'm like, I'm salary. But yeah, man, like this, 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 this is the type of stuff, man. So like she, she, even though she said that again, I didn't agree with it, but she has a right to her opinion. Same thing with all these women that want these guys is making six figures, man. That's, that's physique, man, with white teeth and all these things. And y'all can't even present half of that. You're, you have a right to, uh, you know, to whatever you want. That, that, that's, that's not a topic of this uh, of this argument. The topic is having you you having these crazy ass unrealistic dating standards, being equally like she said, being equally yoked to be able to manifest love. Please stop confusing dating actual boyfriend and girlfriend, actual potential fiance or wife. Please stop confusing dating with you damn coming to wet the man bed up. That's two different things. Stop confusing these two. I've said this before multiple times. I said this in uh, my PSA video for women. I was like, he, he, he'll he spend money on you, but he's not going to cuff you. And that's real. But anyway, yeah, like I said, man, y'all comment down below. Let me know what y'all think about this video, man. Again, my apologies. I was going for like a for damn near two weeks, man. I had finals. I had, uh, you know, this, that, and the third to do with my other little side stuff I've been doing. So, um, yeah, man, I'm, I'm just keeping my fingers crossed and just see, seeing what's up, man. Just seeing what's up. But I want y'all to comment down below. Let me know what y'all think about what she said. Do y'all agree with her? Do y'all disagree with her? You know what I'm saying? Uh, if you disagree with her, tell me why you disagree with her. Why do you feel like 
uh, you don't you don't have to be uh, quote unquote equally yoked to get a a you know what she described as a high value man or or even a man that's making eight eight eighty thousand dollars or even a a physique man a well physique man. Why do you feel like you qualify or deserve to be with them? Again, I don't want to hear nothing about why I dated. I don't know. If y'all wasn't officially boyfriend and girlfriend, he knew and claimed you on social media and all those things. Because if he didn't do none of, the, none of that, then ma'am, I'm sorry. You were just somebody that he just called when he got horny. But anyway, man, shout, shout out to B. Simone, man. Shout out to B. Simone. That, that, that girl, that girl the realest, man. Girl said, you want a man with a six pack, but you eat chips every night. <laughs> Anyway, man, thanks for watching, y'all. Until next time, y'all be safe for her, cuz.